us, Mr. KK Mystery, who's joining us. We know that HDFC has just announced rate cuts. Also, of course, uh, the big fundraising exercise that's been underway. Mr. Mystery, good, uh, good evening, sir. Thank you for taking this call. I just want to get your sense on the rate cut that's been announced this evening. To what extent do you think has HDFC now passed on the quantum of rate cuts that have been already announced by the RBI this year? See, uh, to the extent that the funding, our funding costs have come down, the benefit has been passed on to customers. However, that does not mean that going forward, funding costs will not come down future. If and when it does, we will certainly pass further, further rate cuts down to customers. But sir, wouldn't see, you what we've uh, done, think... Sir, sorry, just to, just to complete this, the 25 sure. basis points reduction that you see in rates is by and large for old customers and new customers. If we were to go by, uh, you know, by saying that incremental funding costs have come down, which they indeed have, then it may perhaps be possible to do a larger rate cut, but then the old customers end up paying a higher amount, which is then very unfair. So therefore, we try to be fair to all by cutting the old customers and the new customers by pretty much the same rate. But, sir, with this 25 basis points cut, whatever elbow room or whatever leeway that the 50 bips cut gave you, uh, which was last week's cut, has that entire headroom or that entire window been passed on to borrow? I, I think you need to understand that when RBI is cut rates by 50 basis points, bond rates in the system have not lowered by 50 basis points. We don't borrow from RBI. So bond rates have typically lowered by about 20 odd basis points incrementally. But of course, we have also cut our deposit rate. So incremental cost of funds is lower, but the old book still stands at a higher rate. So it takes a while before the old book, get, old book gets adjusted to current rates. So that's why the 25 basis points uh, reduction. But over a period of the next few months, and I can't obviously give you a timeline, uh, if funding cost was to come down, we will certainly pass a lower funding cost benefit to customers. Okay. Shireen? Right, uh, Mr. Mistry, uh, a quick question from me. You said that uh, uh, incremental, uh, you will be able to pass that on, sir. We've seen the Reserve Bank front load its uh, rate cut by 50 basis points this time around. You were also talking about perhaps more elbow room over the next few months. If you can give us some sense of, as far as new customers are concerned, how much lower can we possibly see rates go down from HDFC? I can't give you a number. I can't tell you how much percentage, how, how many basis points is going to to uh, uh, sort of uh, get lowered over time. But, you know, incrementally with every passing day, if we are borrowing more money in the market, we are borrowing that money at a rate which is lower than the rate at which the existing liability sit. So therefore, over a period of the next few months, it may be possible to look at uh, lending rates uh, once again. But in the immediate present, 25 basis points is the best that we could have done and at the same time, ensuring that the spreads don't change. What's the expectation now from the Reserve Bank, sir? Do you anticipate an, uh, a cut, perhaps as far as this particular calendar year is concerned? Is there room, do you think, for another cut in this calendar year? I don't know about periods. I still believe that uh, the inflation outlook, in my view, is fairly benign. Uh, globally, we do not see uh, too much of growth happening or too much demand for commodities. China's slowdown is also impacting commodity prices. And therefore, my sense is that Whilst the monsoons may have been not as good as one would have liked, commodity prices being weak, uh, oil prices being weak, is going to result in inflationary expectations being moderate. And therefore, that, perhaps, that with the objective of further giving a kickstart to, to growth, to investments, can perhaps give RBI some room to look at further cuts in interest rates. Whether that happens till December or that happens in the first quarter of the next calendar year is something we'll have to wait and see. But it's going to be very data dependent. RBI is going to keep watching the data as it keeps emerging and then it will be easier to take a call on where interest rates are headed. Mr. Mystery, it's always a pleasure speaking with you, sir. Thanks very much for joining us on CNBC TV 18. That's HDFC, the latest to join the round of uh, cuts that have been announced by the banking sector following the Reserve Bank's rate cut. But let's